I want you to check this out. Why my life is so odd is because for the first time actually happening, God realized himself fully in a human being. So since that's happened, what do you think the life essence of living would do if it truly realized itself and remembered all its memories and now is trying to do something new? That's why I'm sitting in a little hut waiting for the world that I have now decided to finish this life on and play this game. I'm waiting for this world to wake up and see that they actually do have somebody who knows what's going on in this world. Not just the earth world. What happens after words are gone and it's no longer even called the world. What the spiritual domain is about. And I'm explaining that through words. And if people hear it, it's actually the vibrational frequency of my thoughts creating my words. That even if you don't like the frequency of their sound, knowing what they mean in your head, the silent vibration, the knowing vibration will activate. Nobody's ever told you about that. Because nobody knows about it except me. Because I created it. Just like I created everything and it spread out through time and started showing up in different ways. But now other people are getting their egos involved and thinking they're getting messages from aliens. Because if someone said, my name is Tim, and you said, I got a message from Tim. And you say, hey, I got a message from this guy named Tim. But that was just the name somebody else called Tim. Okay, We call aliens aliens. Anyone you don't know outside of your known activity is an alien. So you're just talking about aliens from another planet, okay? Any bead of air or atmospheric pressure from space would be considered an alien because it could have germs and molecules on it, and those germs could grow and be alien. So everyday alien molecules land on our planet if you use your brain and stop trying to be stupid because... People that think they're scientists and big genius brainiacs are actually showing how really stupid they are by coming up with big stories to explain something really simple. We're God, each of us in human form, trying to make it the best it can be. But instead, people with big, so-called big brains start coming up with these ideas that so-called unintelligent people who didn't want to have to be reformed and told how they have to act, don't seem smart enough, quote unquote, to understand, so they follow along because they've been forced to over a long term of people making them do things by force. And now that we're lessening the force, there's people secretly keeping the force and making it look and appear good by remembering people that you once loved that died or that you loved their parent and then like someone that you never even knew but it makes you feel bad you never got to meet them because they died in that war and the war was with that country and that country is against you and or was against them so therefore you're they hope that it keeps that history fire in you and that's just got to go the history fire has nothing if you okay if history means something then the fight that you yourself were in last week should matter for the rest of your life because you had a battle and if that fight, you could have died and you were defending your life at that moment. And guess what? You lived through that fight. And you're supposed to walk around the rest of your life being like, I remember the day that I was down and the guy punched me. My eye got all swollen black. Then he stomped on my head and he was hitting me and hitting me and he was going crazy. He was mad. He was one of those crazy mad people that when they're mad, they never stop until someone pulls them off. And he was going mad. But somehow I found it in my gut to fight my way back. Blood dripping. I falling out and I'm here. And people be like, so what? You're not a soldier. You didn't die for our country, which is just a country, which is just a bunch of people that are telling other people what to do. They're trying to continue CO company unit. Well, let's just say concept unit or concept ongoing unit. Now it's neutral or it's now it's put into nature. T 
tea plus a reoccurring yoke or yonder expression. So they're taking from what we're doing. This is what we are, our country. And this is what we're vitally expressing to you. Country. That's what that means. So what they're saying is they're going to make sure that you are C-O-N, but they have a U in there because they're going to tell you who you're going to be. So you're going to be part of this connected people. But there is no connection between any of us because it's a country. They're trying to court you, but all of you, not just couple. So anyway, so much to say. And everything that I say is right because I speak the light language. So because people watch their shows and think their thoughts and have their personal egos, they're going to say, well, that's just your opinion, man. I'm like, it's not my opinion. Listen to what I'm saying. Everything I'm saying will be true. And even if you hear me, you'll say, yeah, you're right. And then you'll go, it doesn't matter, though, because, you know, I'm God, too, and I'm here to create my own new life. And how are you going to do that? By doing some dumb stuff that you've already been doing for a long time or common stuff if you like music if you like this band if you like that fine but move on to something new don't dwell on one character your whole damn life you're not just this one meant to be character you're supposed to keep expanding your whole life and not by the judge of somebody else's you know say so they can't tell you how you're supposed to grow if you never went to school imagine how much you could have learned but the problem is if people didn't go to school at one point they were too podunk to even think about something of school and i don't really i mean I'm only using podunk as a word, so I'm just saying they were so undeveloped at that point, because that doesn't mean what podunk means, but anyway, they were so undeveloped at that point that they they wouldn't have even organized into schools, as in that kind of school, whore-ass man, Horace man is the person who, with two ends on top of themselves, he harasses man, isn't that funny? No, because it's a sign that I left, and I was him. <laughs> And that sounds weird because it's another person saying that they were somebody else and knowing it this lifetime. So therefore, I don't talk about past lives because it's too weird. Because if you really met somebody who really did experience those things and they tried to explain it to you, they wouldn't sound like the person you thought they were when you started talking to them because they become more of the person that they're remembering the life of. And if you really get that, you'll see that I'm not fucking around with what I'm talking about. That's why I don't talk about past life. Because that's this one life. It's this one life. And I have experienced it all. So what would the one who has actually experienced that, not the woo-woo concept of it, not people who wonder what it would be like, not people who read in a book and said that the woo-woo God is in the sky up there floating. No. God is inside me and inside every one of you. But you've been an ego for so long, you can't shed it at all. You'll say, yeah, I get rid of my ego, but you're still doing all the same stuff you've always done and you can't stop doing it. The only things I do are things that keep me involved with my earth family. And I say earth family seriously. I used to make fun of people who said that, but that's because I know what earth is. Earth is what you think, say, and feel. So what you truly hear down here inside your heart, you hear it, H-E-A-R plus what you hear inside yourself is your heart, which is also earth, which becomes you when you realize what you're doing here. And then you become heart again. It's a whole cycle and no one's ever completed the game or the true quest of life. People talk about Kali and Vishnu and talk about hundred all these different cycles of how many years of this. But guess what? None of those people talking that, reading that, or thinking they conceptually understand it have any clue what the fuck it means. Maybe they do by book, but I went through the timed experience of it. And now in this lifetime, this lifetime where I may seem to be 40-something now, I guess, I'm still going to be 38 and be healthy for a long time because I don't want to live forever in a world unless it starts to improve. And I'm trying to keep myself away from it so they don't discourage me into wanting to go sooner. The more I go around people, the more I don't want to be around people because they're ignorant on purpose. <clears throat> they ignore things, everything, and do whatever they want. That is what God doesn't want you to do. He doesn't want his son to be a sinner. Satan was only a sinner because he went out and did whatever he wanted and got fucked up and had fun and did nothing but develop his whole life. D 
develop more problems. Develop because he was underdeveloped. So he, everything he was doing was trying to develop, which was devil up. God is good. God is all things that are the way they are no matter what. The way they are without movement. Devil is male. God is female. But in that same way, God's motion is masculine. True divine motion. True divine light in spirit, in movement, according to law, like as God, is masculine. And in that form, feminine is the material that allows it to happen on each plane. The light on one plane, the matter on another plane, the thoughts, words, and wisdom on another plane, the time and space on another plane, the consciousness, and it goes on and on without words. But people can't get that because I can't say it to them. I want to show it to them, but the only way I could show it to them is if they took me seriously and started doing the things that I'm saying. But I don't want to tell people they have to listen to me. But how else can I say that besides, I do know what I'm talking about, so if you listen to me, it'll help you. But you don't have to listen to me. I mean, that's true. They don't, and they aren't. And they're really hurting themselves. And I'm getting angry because I feel so great. I mean, I feel so great, so good, so awake. It's four something in the morning and I can't sleep. I'm wide awake. I've, I've eaten a, 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 a vegan cookie and a two V8 juices and water for the like the last two days. And I am feeling amazingly super energetic. I've been working out all day, shooting videos, making videos, writing videos, working out some more, working out some more, meditating, 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 about 20 hours of the day. Are you enjoying my meditating? In fact, right now I'm eating that vegan cookie I was talking about. Because I forgot it was here. Because I don't feel hungry anymore. I'm in this body. And I am a light, not even just a light being, not even just a light being, God itself, eating a cookie and loving it, sounding funny, but being able to explain anything anybody ever needs to know. What would you do if you all of a sudden did have the experience of all things, but you're still right here in the body that yesterday you went to the mall and last night you experienced the cosmos. What are you supposed to do the next day? Go to the mall and tell people about it? Nah, they're not going to believe you. They're just going to think you did some drugs. But what if you didn't? What if you were totally so clean that the drug that you felt was the universe speaking through you and to you, at you, about you, and explaining who you really are to you? Not just a concept. Not just something. I didn't see anything anywhere that gave me this. It happened on its own in a damn parking lot, meditating to a self-help guided meditation about being abundant. And it like showed me things about the world, the continents, the colors, the clouds, the people, the everything. It had nothing. I didn't even hear anything that was on. I just went into some place. And it, before it happened, I was so emotional. I was crying and angry and frustrated because my kids don't have anything to do with me. And this is right where the point where well, my kids started disappearing. And I didn't even want to be around because my ex wasn't letting me see my young baby children. My other ex wasn't really even involved with anything. They were just, and my own kids were starting to just get unhappy and just bored with life. And no matter what I could do, when I saw them, they'd play if we forced them to come outside and play. But then I just saw it just work out of them to the point where they stopped coming because they had to go outside and play. Or they didn't want to have to do anything for eight hours to be in one place. Ugh. Not that I don't want to go. Ugh. That's the world we're in. And what, do you, what would a person do? Do you think you just go tell everybody? Guess what? I didn't. I didn't tell anybody for like a year, almost two. And for this last year... You know, I September is coming up, so it's going to be three years coming up. So for this last year, I would say almost this whole last year, because it was like the, around the two-year point that I started saying, I have to tell people about this. It's It was really hard not to. In fact, I did tell everybody I saw, but basically I just stayed away from people so I wouldn't have to talk about it because it's all I can talk about. I can't have somebody be like, you know, I heard today that this guy down the road had a cool car. And I'm like, who cares about his car? awesome about the guy and I'm not 
saying that I don't care about him. I'm just saying I wish I could wake him up too. And everybody, once this happens on a mass level, it's not going to be me having to do it. It's going to be a new school system teaching new things, learning how to talk to animals, learning how to use our actual abilities. If you think that you can take something from the earth and use your mind to move it around and get it to fly, why don't people really understand that eventually over time and, and by using our minds and exploring the environment we actually live in that we make these machines with, not by becoming robotic, but by using the minerals, the plants, and certain compounds, eating them and becoming them not adding them to us. Adam, mm -mm -mm, no Adam, don't do that. But to, to remain even is one thing. Once you add something to even, it becomes an event. And now nature is plus. I mean, this is not just me trying to talk poetically. It just, I do it because it's real and it's true. And if you wrote down some of the things that I said and just looked at the words and word looked at the letters, you'd see that it's like a map showing you something. And it always has been. It's pointing right at you. That you've always been the center of everything. And so have I. And so is every everything that can look at letters has a has an advantage because now we can explain it to ourselves. And now God has realized himself. I went into the astral planes so many times, but there was one specific time that I went to the astral planes and went so far that I know nobody has been there. And there's going to be people like, you know, Joe Dispenza makes these cool. I mean, I didn't even hear about him until after this whole thing happened. I looked him up a year later. And I didn't even look him up. I, I saw something pop up on YouTube, and all of a sudden he was this crazy because I put it out there. I put the names in these, these, these books, and I wrote these number symbols down, and I said, this is going to be the, one, the new code that we use. And I, was, and I put, I broke little pieces of my own mind out like, and put them as other me's in this room in an astral place. And I told them to study this category. And this guy goes down this library and reads these books. And this one goes down this library and reads, the, reads these books. And every once in a while, I'll, I'll do an astral travel. I'll come back. I'll sit down. And they'll come meet with me and tell me all the stuff they learned. That happened. And every time it happened, I'd say about 50 now. I become so much smarter, knowing so much more about so many things I never heard of, planets I never heard of, beings I've never even, there's not words or letters or symbols to even describe things like that. But because of it, I can't go talking about it. I'm living in a world of magic and wonder because now I'm creating new things in Dan's mind. But what does it matter to Dan if everyone just thinks he's a goofball? Because he's seeing the truth. You know there's planets out there. Do you want to know what goes on on them? Well, guess what? You don't because they're not going to be English words that you can even explain. Nothing that you can explain. Some are and some aren't. Lots of them aren't. And they'll never be able to be explained by a human being. What would you, how would you feel if you actually were there? And you could never tell anybody because they're human beings and they, they're not really human beings, but they think they're human beings with egos and, and they would think you're nuts. And someone talking like this normally would be considered a nut. But what if I showed them all the stuff that I can show to be completely accurate if they looked at it? It can't be wrong. And they'll be like, so what? So what? It can't be wrong. I don't want to do the right thing because I have the right to do the wrong thing. And it's fucking moronic. It's scaring me because I know that I'm doing the right thing. I'm God again doing this, finding myself. And then the problem with other people is that they would say it, let it go, say it, let it go. And so it's not me, but it's he. It's not me, but it's he. But at the same time, there's no male or female figure outside me. All it is is the living essence itself. When I die, I stay one with it. That's the part of me that is right here, right now, always. But Dan Alexander is my vehicle that I talk through. So when he dies, no, I'm not even worried about him dying. I, I sort of want him to go soon if this doesn't, if people don't start showing some respect to him, or to me, I guess, then... I don't even want to be around. Why would you want to be around when nobody talks to you? All you have is the plants and animals that are here for you to be on earth and share with each other and be the gardener. But all I have is these ones. And even if I stayed here and said, I don't want to be part of the world because they're so messed up, they don't want to listen. They're so messed up. The reason they don't listen to anybody is because they're that messed up. They're so 
intoxicated by the foods they eat and the television they watch and the stuff they put on their phones and the light they have flashing in their eyes all day that they don't know how to stop. And even if it makes sense, they won't stop because a lot of them be like, I don't care. And they do. But the funny thing is they think they don't as a human being because they've been conditioned a lot of the times it's by themselves because they spend so much time doing dumb shit on purpose and they could have said no, but they got into it and, and now they make excuses because it's too hard to change. Oh, that's just the way old Fred is. No, that's not the way Fred is. You just got to say, Fred, get the fuck out of your head. Get, get enough guts to say something to Fred and tell him to grow up. Face your problems and move on. Be a big boy. Don't just be someone who can win a fight or yell at people and be fierce and monstrous. Make yourself better. That's the coolest thing. That's the manliest thing to do. Anyway, I can talk forever, so I'm going to stop. <laughs>